IPA is India Pale Ale, and it was a historic style that developed in Britain as they were shipping uh, beer to the troops and colonists in India, and uh, found that by you know certain certain types of beer would survive that journey better. The brewery that I brewed for in the Pacific Northwest uh, had a really hoppy pale ale that I was really fond of. That was new for me in a beer. I mean, to to first experience that level of hoppiness, both bitterness and you know aroma and flavor. I mean, it was pretty. Uh, it changed my life. I think we were, you know, if not the first, one of the first full-time year-round, you know, brewed, bottled, and kegged IPAs that was, uh, you know, distributed outside of uh, California here, I think, you know, I mean, I don't think, I know Sierra Nevada or folks like that were making one at that time, so I think we were one of the first that was uh, widely available. You know, in that sense, I think it defined things a little bit. It's a very subtle crystal malt character. You know, it finishes pretty dry, so there's not a lot of residual sugar or anything, but I think it's, I just love the proportions of it, you know. There's a little bit of it there to balance that bitterness and, and uh, support the, the citrusy aroma. For a long time, it was a hard sell, frankly, you know. I mean, people's palates weren't quite ready for that, and it wasn't a, a huge success for us or anything, but we love the beer, and uh, it's interesting how over time it's become, you know, now, it's, I mean, this year will probably be the fastest growth that beer has ever had, and, you know. 15 years on. So. I didn't put a ton of thought into it, you know, it just kind of, it was just one of those moments where you kind of hit it right the first time. I mean, some beers we pilot brew forever and, you know, try to dial them in and sometimes you just hit it right the first time. <laughs> Maybe those are better. <laughs>